you, Stephanie. Our Greg Simmons has seen the best and the worst of Tony Ayala Jr. from ringside and from a jail cell. Greg joins me now. We're hearing stories of a man trying to turn his life around, sure. but Ayala's demons may have ultimately been his toughest opponent. You know, if you could separate it and you try, inside the ring, he could have been a world champion. Outside of the ring, he just had a dark side that had him in and out of trouble with the law. Tony Ayala Jr.'s legacy is tainted by the choices he made as an adult and as a rising boxing star in his teens. In the ring, Tony Ayala Jr. was unstoppable with a record of 31 wins and just two losses, but his arrest and later conviction on a rape charge in New Jersey in 1983 derailed his promising career. He was released from prison in 1999 or serving 16 years, was later incarcerated here in Texas back in 2004 where he spent 10 years behind bars for a parole violation. He got out of prison in Texas last April, was working at the Zarzamora Street gym where he was found dead today. He was part of the Ayala boxing family that included his brothers Mike, Sammy, and Paulie, who all fought in the ring both as amateurs and as professionals. We have reaction today from San Antonio boxing legend Jesse James Leha. I feel for the mom. I just feel for the mom and the brothers. They're, they're great brothers and, and they were close as brothers. And it's just sad. It's sad for me to know what they're going to be going through for the next, you know, what, they, what they're going through right now. Now, Ayala is preceded in his death by his father, Tony Ayala Sr., passed away in April. We'll have more on this coming up in sports, including our prison interview with Tony Ayala Jr. All right. Thank you, Greg. The latest now.